Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about Neural Network MPPT controlled a grid connected PV wind battery system and also it is known as a hybrid a DC and a AC microgrid. So this hybrid a DC and AC microgrid will be controlled by means of a neural network MPPT in wind energy conversion system as well as solar PV system and DC bus voltage will be controlled by means of voltage control method in the bidirectional converter of the battery and, and the current control is applied in the uh, grid side inverter so based upon the SOC of the battery and PV power the current control will be happen in the grid side inverter and this is the summoning model of the neural network MPPT controlled grid connected PV wind battery systems so this system consists of the wind energy conversion system so this is wind turbine and the PMSG and then this is known as rectifier to convert AC to DC and then here we are using boost converter so this boost converter is to for extract the maximum power from the this wind energy conversion system so this boost converter going to be controlled by means of neural network MPPT so this neural network MPPT receive two inputs one is rectifier voltage and the rectifier current that means here we have to measure the current of the rectifier here we are measuring the, the voltage of the rectifier so that going to be given to the neural network MPPT control so it will be generated duty cycle based upon this rectifier voltage and current so this is going to be processed via this pedulum generator so this generator pedulum generator generator switching pulse and is going to be controlled this MOSFET now to extract the maximum power from the this wind energy systems so the maximum rating of this wind energy system is around 3 kilowatt and the output of this boost converter will be connected to the DC bus so here we are going to maintain DC bus voltage is equal to 400 volt so next year we are going to see about the solar PV energy system so this is solar PV energy system consists of solar PV panel this solar PV panel rating is 2000 watts so each panel having that means totally we have 8 panel connected in series the single panel rating is 250 watts and then this panel PV array will be connected to the DC bus via this boost converter so this boost converter is going to be used to for extract the maximum power from the PV panel based upon the, the neural network MPPT algorithm so in order to generate a duty cycle so neural network MPPT algorithm receive two inputs one is PV voltage and current so based upon PV voltage and current so it will be generate duty cycle so this duty cycle again going to be processed by a pedulum generator so the pedulum generator generate the pulse for this IGPT so this pulse going to be controlled this IGPT of the MOS sorry, boost converter to extract the maximum power from the P panel so next you have to see about the battery system energy conversion system energy sorry energy storage system so here we are using battery so battery will be connected to the DC bus via this bidirectional converter so the operation of bidirectional converter so here the bidirectional converter used for the maintaining the DC bus voltage at a constant that mean and this bidirectional DC to DC converter will be maintained the DC bus voltage at 400 volt now to maintain that 400 volt DC bus this converter will be controlled by means of voltage control method so this is a voltage control method here implemented for that uh, bidirectional DC DC converter so here you can see that uh, the bus voltage will be compared with reference voltage and then it will be processed via PA controller 
the pa control will be generated in duty cycle it will be processed via pdlm generator and then pdlm generator will be generated the pulse so this pulse going to be control this bidirectional converter this to igbt now to maintain the dc bus voltage constant at to 400 volt so battery going to be charging with charging mode according with the power balance in the system and here we are using dc load so dc load okay so so you draw a uh, dc power from the wind pv and battery and also it can draw power from the grid so based upon the the ipv and the soc okay so next you have to see about uh, grid connected inverter and grid so here we have single base grid is going to be connected to the inverter via the cell cell filter to the dc bus so this inverter going to be controlled by means of current control concept so here we implemented that current control concept so in order to control this inverter we need to generate reference current right so this reference going, going to be generated based upon these two condition so we are going to compare then we are going to compare the ipv with the 0.5 and the soc with the 10 percentage for example ipv is less than 0.5 soc is less than 10 percentage so there is no power in the pv panel and there is no uh, charge in the battery so then we are going to get the power from the grid okay with the uh, peak amplitude of minus 10 amps if ipv is greater than 0.5 and the soc of the battery is greater than 10 percent each so then we can uh, send some power to the grid so that's why we are sending some power to the grid with the peak amplitude of 2 amps current so here we have that reference current in the form of dc so that should be converted to dc so for that we are using this pll concept in order to generate sine and cosine so it going to multiply it within this reference current and then it going to be converted into ac form right and then it's going to be converted into dq by using uh, abc to dq transformation and then here we are going to measure the current inverter current okay so this current going to be converted into dq form so after converting the dq form of actual inverter current and reference current so that going to be processed via current controller so this current controller going to be generated the control voltage the form of dq and then it going to be converted into ab form and then we are taking only ab so this ab going to be processed via pdlm generator sinusoidal pdlm generator so this sinusoidal pdlm generator going to be generate the pulse for this inverter to control the current flow okay so this inverter in this inverter going to be uh, going back to say in bidirectional mode so based upon the condition of the ipv and soc so this is a model explanation of this uh, neural network in bpt controlled uh, grid connected pv wind battery system so next you have to test the model that means here we are uh, combining that means here we are providing the wind speed is so initially is around 12 meter per second up to 2 second after 2 second wind speed change to 10.8 meter per second and then here we are fixing the irradiation so every 0.3 seconds the irradiation change from 1000 to 500 500 to 10 and 10 to 500 and then 1000 and here we are fixing the soc initial sorry soc is equal to 50 percent age so already we simulate this model we have to check the cells so this is a pv voltage current and pv power so initially the pv power is around almost near to 2000 watts because it, it is operated at 1000 watts per meter square so after 0.3 second uh, irradiation change from 500 uh, 500 watts per meter square so that's why we are getting uh, 1000 watts from the pv so after 0.6 second irradiation change to 10 watts per meter square so that's why we are getting power around only zero okay so if you can see that the current variation for different irradiation condition for 1000 watts per meter square yeah, the a current is uh, around 8.2 amps okay for 500 watts per meter square is around 3.8 amps and then for 
10 watts per meter square current almost zero so this is a variation of pv voltage okay so for the that mean for 1500 watts per meter square the pv voltage may maintain around 245 or 246 volts okay so because of this variation and then you can see the power of uh, wind energy conversion rectifier and boost converter here you can see that for 12 meter per second the power almost maintained at 2700 watts for 10.8 uh, meter per second the power is maintained around 1500 watts okay so because of this changes right you can see the variation of battery so here you can see that battery current variation so so initially you can see that so this is a variation due to pv power variation because of change in irradiation okay so after two second you can see that so there is uh, decreasing uh, charging current of the battery so this is because of change in speed of the wind okay and also you can see this is a dc bus voltage a dc load current dc load power so here you can see that uh, uh, the dc load power maintained constant at around 1000 watts okay uh, here you can see that the dc bus voltage maintained at around 400 volt and dc load current maintained at uh, around 2.5 amps so this is a inverter voltage and current so i am going to expand this one so here you can see that inverter voltage maintained at 230 volt and then this is the inverter current is maintained at 2 amps peak okay because you can see that the soc of the battery is 50 percent each so here during this time only point from 0.6 to 0.9 right the pv current goes to less than 0.5 but the soc of the battery is maintained above 50 percentage only so that's why that condition that means we are not yet taking any current from the grid so we are say, sending current uh, current to the grid only so that that's why inverter current amps will be maintained at a two peak uh, two amps peak okay and also you can check the the phase angle right so both are in phase so in phase means uh, the dc micro grid sending power to the ac grid so this is a concept okay so now i'm going to change the same system i'm going to make uh, the soc of the battery sign percentage right so we can see the result so at time of 0.6 seconds so, so what will be ha happen the pv current will be go to less than 0.5 seconds so less than 0.5 amps okay and also soc of the battery is maintained at the less than 10 percent is so we will check the detail whether we are getting power from the grid or not during that condition okay so now is now battery charging condition now grid is uh, taking power from the AC grid taking power from the DC micro grid so that's why it's made into 2 amps peak okay so here you can see that the PV power is maintained at 2000 watts because of irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square so after 0.3 seconds the irradiation changed to 500 watts per meter square because of that you can see that the PV power goes to 1000 nearly 1000 watts so after 0.6 seconds or so what will be happen that PV power goes to 0 and that PV current goes to 0 during this uh, condition definitely the IPV is less than 0.5 and the SOC is less than 10 percentage so then uh, the system or DC microgrid should get the power from the AC grid okay during this condition so we will check this condition whether it is working or not now you can see that during this condition right pv current goes to less than 0.5 and uh, soc is less than 10 percent is so battery goes to charging mode only so here you can see that the change of current right so inverter current change from 2 amps peak to 10 amps peak and also you can see the phase angle difference between 
voltage and current right both are in a opposite each other so what's the meaning now we are getting power from the ac grid to dc microgrid so this is the reason the phase angle between this voltage and current is 180 degree apart so what's the meaning we are getting power from the ac grid in order to charge the battery as well as supply the dc load so for this for this condition also the system work well okay so we are getting power from the grid also during this condition that means when ipv is less than 0.5 amps and then soc is less than 10 percentage so system work well during this condition also so this is working of uh, the dual network can be pt and also you can see that maximum power extraction from the pv is is almost uh, maintained at the peak power for all the uh, irradiation condition and also you can see that the power of uh, uh, p that means wind also maintained at the maximum power point okay in all operating condition so during this uh, all variation of irradiation and uh, wind speed condition we are getting maximum power from the solar pv as well as wind energy system by using that neural network mbpt the system will uh, work for all kind of operating condition so this is working of this model thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you so much bye bye